Hello all and welcome back. I'm Alicia. This week's short video captures my use of space under my stairs. As a reminder, this is a small two bedroom townhouse. It's under a thousand square feet. So it's vital I use and maximize the space well. It's nice for me to have a dedicated space to sort mail, write, use and leave my laptop. And that's what this space provides this again is a budget friendly DIY. So let's get started. This is not the desktop that I use, but it illustrates what I purchased. It's a beautiful unfinished piece of wood that I've placed on two file cabinets. In that unfinished tabletop, I drilled three holes to the rear. That allows for cables and cords to run through. I used a metal adjustable track system. This was left over from my closet install. The two shelves are left over butcher block from my kitchen. They were left raw and unfinished and I actually like that. If you look closely you'll see some perfect imperfections. As the blade heated up it actually burned the wood and also we cut through some nails so there are some finishes that have the cut exposed nail. I know not everyone is a fan of the metal or wire systems and I know that they're not the prettiest but in terms of function and practicality I like these adjustable wire or metal shelves because they allow you the ability to quickly change the space in terms of height if you have something that needs to be adjusted to fit in that space it's easy to do when it's not a built-in uh, wooden unit. Here I'm just showing you around the workspace how I've tried to hide the cords that come up onto the tabletop in the workspace. What the interior of the keeping boxes look like. I've tried to keep the colors pretty calm and coordinated. The use of circles, uh, the accent of gold. But the space works well. No dead space in my house. Everything has to work well. So I hope that you all have been, enjoyed this video and I hope that you will watch it to the end. And as always, please like, share, subscribe. Any comments that you have, any feedback, I would love to hear it. I think what I could do once I look at the video is add a power strip so I don't have all of those cords running out. But again, thank you for watching. Continue to follow along. I'm Alicia, and I'm happy that you're on this journey with me.